holy names. I'm going to leave somebody out. Will you let me just stop with preachers? So that means that if you are classified preacher, I'm talking about you. Amen. If you if that's your classification, stand so we can see you. All the ministers, will you stand? Thank you, Jesus. If you're able, stand. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Thank God for District Overseer Smell. She is a wonderful woman of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Rennie, you did a powerful job. Amen. I'm going to try to stay pretty close to the script. You come do some reading for me if you want to when you get ready. <laughs> Praise the Lord. My privilege of meeting uh, Overseer Smith when we were both 19 years old. Amen. Amen. Beneath the maples and the oaks <laughs> of Livingstone College. Amen. She, and she is now, she was a lady. Amen. Ever since I have known her, she carried herself as a lady, a very respectful person. I had no idea when I first met her, amen, of what God had planned for her life. Thank you, Jesus. Right. And probably she had no idea either. But God knew it all the time. Oh, amen. 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 It is a wonderful thing what the Lord has done. Thank you, Jesus. I consider her a gift to the body of Christ. Yes. She is an extraordinary leader Amen. and a phenomenal teacher. Yes. I tell her from time to time, Amen. She's one of those people who does not have to move out of her track, but she can just stand and expound the word of God. Right. And it seems like we can receive everything that the Lord allows to fall from her lips. Amen. I thank God for her. I thank God for this success story. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight is a success story. Amen. Yeah. It is a success story. And I'm praying, amen, as, as she goes forth, amen, into this next 25 years as those roses are representing, amen, that God will stand by her then as he has in the past, amen. amen. Let us pray for her, amen. 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 Turn, if you will, to the book of Psalm, Thank you, Lord. Psalm 22, mm -hmm. and we're going to read a few verses and try to speak some words of encouragement to this woman of God. She has certainly been a blessing to the triumphant Pentecostal church. Amen. She has served as an administrator for many years. Amen. She's worn a lot of different hats and covered a lot of bases. And she has shown spirit of excellence in everything that she has done. And we come to celebrate, amen, this season of her life. Thank you, As I look and I see people in the audience who are saved under her ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Receive their calling. Thank you, Jesus. Walking under her shadow. And I know you're excited about what's going on tonight. Amen. Amen. Psalm 22. Let's look at verses 27 through the remaining part of this entity, 22. Remain seated as we read tonight. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn yes. unto the Lord Thank you, Jesus. 
all the kindreds mm -hmm. of the nations shall worship Jesus. before thee. Mm -hmm. For the kingdom is the Lord's. Yes. He is the governor mm -hmm. among the nations. Speak, all they that be fat upon earth mm -hmm. shall eat and worship. Yes. All they that go down to the dust shall bow before him. Thank you, Jesus. And none can keep alive his own soul. Mm -hmm. A seed shall serve him. Thank you, Jesus. It shall be accounted to the Lord mm -hmm. for a generation. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. They shall come and shall declare mm -hmm. his righteousness Thank you, Lord. unto a people that shall be born mm -hmm. that he has done this. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 23, 1, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. I shall not want. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, thank you Jesus. for this privilege of standing in this place tonight yes. to speak a word. Hide me right now. Behind the cross of Christ, you take the forefront and in the way you bless us tonight. We will be satisfied in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For your consideration tonight and by the help of the Holy Ghost, I'd like to speak from this thought. God has done this. Thank you, Jesus. God has done this. The Hebrew title of this book is Tehillim, which means hymns are praises. I'm just removing something, y'all. It is an old or a song. Yeah. Many of the titles of the psalms make reference to the chief musician. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This person was the superintendent of the music. Thank you, May God uh -huh. give us a song in the night. Yes. Job said he is able yes. to give songs in the night. In yes. fact, on one occasion he said, where is God? Yes. Where is he Jesus. who gives songs in the night? Last year, pretty close to this time, uh -huh. Overseer Smith preached in the state of West Virginia yes. Jesus. in the city of Beckley. Yes. And she raised the question, where is God? Where is Amen. She did not stop until we knew exactly where to find God. As for the authors, we find the sons of Korah, including Herman, also Asaph, and Ethan. They are included in the roll call of contributors along with Solomon Thank you, Jesus. and Moses. Some songs were written anonymously. Mm -hmm. All right. However, it appears that the greatest contributor was David. David. All right. No doubt Psalm 23 yes. is the one that we have the most familiarity with, which begins by saying, the Lord yes. is my shepherd. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, he's our shepherd tonight. Yes, yes. And because he's our shepherd, yes. we have everything yes. that we need. Yes. The text tonight deals with the song that precedes rejoicing in the shepherd. Jesus. This Psalm 22 is a messianic song. Yes. It paints the picture of the suffering saint. Yes. Trying to find his way. <laughs> this is the first passion song. Uh -huh. This is the one that Jesus made reference to yeah. on Calvary yeah. while giving up his life. Yeah. If we happen to forget, God has a way of reminding us right. that we are counted as sheep yeah. for the slaughter. Yeah. We are killed all the day long. Yeah. But nay, it all we say. We are more 
and conquer. In the title of this poem, we have some obscure words. The dominant interpretation of this inscription is the sufferer being likened to a hind, pursued by hunters in the morning. Hind suggests the idea of a meek and an innocent sufferer. Yes. The addition of mourning designates relief obtained, for we know that weeping yes. just endures for the night. Yes. We can hold out just a little while longer. Yes. I wish I had somebody yes. on my team tonight that know that trouble don't last yes. always. Yes. After a while, joy will come. Come on, somebody that knows about the joy of the Lord. Because the joy of the Lord is not contingent upon who you are. And not even what you are. It's not contingent on what you have or what you don't have. But the joy of the Lord is our strength. I've lived long enough to know it. That joy will come in the morning time. I've never known a storm or a night that have, did not have a dawning. After a while, the sun will shine. I wish I had somebody on my team tonight that knows a little bit about the joy of the Lord. For your struggle, and it seems like you can't see your way through somewhere early in the morning a peace will come in your life have i got anybody that know tonight the joy will come in the morning in the song tonight the suffering saint pleads for divine aid on the ground of his relationship to god whose past goodness encourages hope when I need a shelter, when I need a friend, I go to the rock. He is the rock of our salvation. Lift up your head, oh ye gates. Jesus spoke these words when God dismissed himself from his only begotten son. Verse number two, he said, I'm crying in the daytime. I'm crying in the night season. You have not delivered yet, but I shall not be silent. The only hope we have is in Jesus. Every now and then, we have to learn how to lay down for a matter. And we got to holler until something happens. I wish I had a few people here tonight that's not afraid to say Jesus. Somebody that know tonight that God is a deliverer. Yeah. And I got a 
a few people that know he will set you free. We used to sing a song that said he set me free. He set me free. He broke the chain of prison life for me. I'm happy and I'm free. Praise the Lord. He set me free. If I've got anybody here that's ever been set free from anything, I want you to just take a minute and, and turn to somebody and tell them I know he can set you free.